The first two maps were brought up in the Senate committee today. And like we talked about before, one of those key debates is adding more majority minority districts. One of the maps does not add any more than there already are. And a second map would add two more of those districts. And it's already stirring up some debate around legality. In the recent census data, the white population across Louisiana shrank and the minority population grew. That is why there is such a passionate push to get the minority representation in the legislature. Advocates and the Democratic Senate Senators question why Cortez is sticking with only 11 minority districts out of the 39 Senate seats. If minority population is increasing and the majority population is decreasing, then why shouldn't we look at the possibility of another minority district. President Cortez challenged the idea with voter turnout. He says if they draw the districts to have more minority representation, low voter turnout can keep the candidate of their choice from getting elected. So you would have been specifically trying to grab a group of constituents to elect a different person. That's directly conflicting with what the principle is that the second thing is you would have had to violate the compactness laws. You would have had to eff effectively gerrymander. There were no votes on those two maps, so they will come up again tomorrow in committee, and the House committee will also begin their debate around the congressional maps. At the Capitol, for your local election headquarters, I'm Shannon Hecht.